the condemnation and the execution of Jesus Christ was one of the most pivotal points in history. For Catholics, that event in human history is represented in the Stations of the Cross, 14 scenes depicting moments as Jesus walked to his death, hung to die, and laid in his tomb. Out of that, we have something where we get the greatest command that has ever been given to humanity, which is to love, to love God and to love your fellow man. As Joe Ricketts built his religious retreat on the Platte River, he knew the Stations of the Cross would be an important feature. He approached one artist in Nebraska. He said, let me get this straight. You want me to build 14 Stations of the Cross? Yes. Multiple figures at each station? Yes. Seven feet tall? He said, yes. He said, that'll take me more than my lifetime. So we jokingly said, have you got some friends? In all, a group of 10 artists from two states took on the project. They planned every detail. Jesus looks the same at each station. The Roman soldiers are in historically accurate uniforms. Even this horse is a breed used in the Holy Land. And some of the people that worked on this went to uh, Via Della Rosa, which is the trail Christ walked when he was in Jerusalem. That's reflected on the station's path, 2,500 feet, approximately the distance Jesus carried the cross. I'm happy to have this as a, a place where people can come and meditate and pray with respect to what happened to Jesus in this particular time in his life. Ricketts hopes the life-size, lifelike statues remind people not to take their faith for granted and serve as a reminder of that great command, love. In Gretna, David Earle, KETV News Watch 7.